Now it's working. Yes, well, it's on my PS4. I don't think it was on PS3. I don't remember. All the way down here at the end. Oh. It's even in the library. <laughs> there it is. Drink a little beer before we get started on that. How's everyone doing? How's isolation going? Social distancing and all that. It doesn't even show like, for me the audio, there it goes, the desktop audio. It's like, it wasn't even showing up. Oh, but you can probably hear the seven theme in the background. So I should stop that music. Beer for courage, yes. I already told my mom, oh wolf, thank you for the bits. How are you? You seem so quiet. How loud is the, oh wow, the seven is loud, oh God. Let's just mute that for right now. <laughs> I have it like way turned down. I have the uh, Final Fantasy seven theme installed and it's so loud. The Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3 one's even worse. Like, as soon as you boot it up, it goes like, dun dun! And it's like, oh my god. So, I'm gonna suffer off in all of his glory while I drink my beer, and then we'll get started. I made social distancing before it was cool. Yeah, I'm kind of settled in now, so I'm not really, it's not really bothering me as much anymore. It just kind of is what it is. Um, I had applied for a new position at my job and found out today that they're no longer hiring for that, which kind of sucks, but it's also to be expected, honestly, with everything going on. So it didn't surprise me when I saw that, but <sighs> so yeah, just things in general. And then I was having bad dreams about PT. I was like stressing myself out about it. It's like, I know almost everything that happens in it because I've seen it multiple times, but like, I've never done it. So it's like. Mm. You'll be fine. I feel like Chad's going to try and scare me even more. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. Maddie Bourbon. Um, I'm actually... Well, Bunny lives here already. He lives on my parents' porch. When I move out, I'll probably take him with me. So... Um, so then he will officially live with me again. But he's lived with my parents for like the last seven years or something. <laughs> So no, he didn't yell at me. Yeah, I know there's one that tells you that like there was a new video that they recently found out that Lisa is like behind you the whole time. I'm like, cool. The worst part of PT is at the beginning and then it kind of like is not as bad. I don't know how to get the correct ending when we get to the end, so I might have to look that up. But... It's more like the atmosphere and everything. There's like one bad jump scare that I don't know exactly when it happens. And that's why I'm kind of like. <laughs> Crow. <laughs> Are you behind me at all times? Social distancing only really bothered me the first week. I would like to see the folks at the pub though. Yeah. No, no yeah, it makes sense. Saw them more than my family. Um, why are you reading stuff? What? Have you played 
Sorry, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, yes, I did. I started that last night, and I'm loving it so far. I'm not a huge Final Fantasy VII fan. I was never, I never got into it. Like, <laughs> when it first came out, I was in middle school, and the guy I liked was playing it. And I went over to his house to, like, hang out with him, and he had named Tifa after me. <laughs> or, yeah, I think it was Tifa he named after me. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And I think, like, it must have been Yuffie that he named after his sister, because it was pretty far into the game. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's was Aerith. I don't know. He named another one after his sister. <laughs> we were, like, 12 or something. That was, like, my first exposure. I didn't even know what it was, because it's, like, Final Fantasy VII, and I was like, I've never heard of this game before, and now we're on the seventh one. And... And then I didn't have a PlayStation for a long time. And then in high school, I got a PS2. And I was more interested in Final Fantasy VIII because I remember when it came out and, like, seeing all the the posters and stuff for it. So I thought it looked really pretty and I wanted the love story. And so I played Final Fantasy VIII first. And then I finally borrowed seven from my friend. And at that point, like, I'd already played... 10 and even ever I felt like after playing 10 I couldn't really play games that looked bad anymore <laughs> like like old school old games like like I played like Lunar and stuff and like those are pretty but then like I tried to play 7 and I was just like this game looks like shit <laughs> I was like, how did I think this game looked good and then like the story is so freaking weird and there's this part like way later in the game like towards the end of the game that happens with Cloud and I was just like I'm done, and I never finished it. <laughs> but again, it's another one that I know everything that happens, so. That being said, I was getting emotional playing last night. Like, the first time you meet Aerith, I was like, oh my god, and like, her music starts playing, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I was like getting teary-eyed. <laughs> and she's so cute, I'm like, oh. I will, well, I mean, you meet Aerith for the first time, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But, yeah. After I complete The Witcher 3, oh, good luck with that. <laughs> I was warned it was long, they weren't kidding, yeah. I talked about streaming The Witcher 3, and Crow and TTF were both like, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's like, why not? I met her, so you have started playing. Has anyone else started playing Final Fantasy VII yet? I start, yeah, cause I just went live last night for everyone. I guess tomorrow, chapter four. Oh, okay. Oh, have you have you played Final Fantasy VII originally, boss? If not, that'll be really cool for you. If you're in chapter four, then I can say, like, a certain person is, like, already showing up. And that doesn't happen yet in the original. So, that's interesting. And I guess people are complaining about things they changed. And I'm like, good lord, we just got done with Resident Evil 3 that, like, basically rewrote the entire game. So, playing this, and it's, like, beat for beat so far. I was like, what are people pissed about? Like, come on. Oh, nice. Okay, so I won't, I won't, I won't spoil anything. Then if I don't, if you are going into Seven Blind, good luck because people are probably gonna spoil some major things online. They usually do, so I'll try not to say anything. Okay. Oh, although this beer is good warm, I need to finish it so I can get my next one, and then we can start playing. Oh wow. Silent Hill Solid <laughs> turns down volume. Zadana, thank you for the bits. Bits of courage. <laughs> How you doing, Zadana? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have the music or the sound down pretty low on my end too. <laughs> Oh yeah, like there probably there's probably be at least three episodes based on where this one cuts off from what I've heard. I don't I don't really know exactly where it ends, but
And people are like, that's not my Aerith. Tifa's boobs are bigger than the original. And it's like, oh my god. Come on. Get over yourselves. <laughs> you realize these are dumb complaints, right? Like, Resident Evil 3 has, like, entire sections that are cut out of it. And <laughs> both people are pissed about that, too. But... But that was, yeah, that was one thing I really thought was cool because I'm, like, playing it. And even in the short part that I had played 7, like, you, everything that has happened so far is how it happens in the original game. It's just, like, they've changed things around, which is part of doing a remake, so. Dandelion greens today. Vegetable. Nice. I've thought about, um, like, looking into, like, doing a garden or something at my house. I don't, I don't think. We have, like, this big flower bed that has nothing in it. So I thought about, put, like, planting some vegetables in it or something. And our puppy would probably destroy it, though. I did finish Remake Offline. Earth Remake. But if we get done with PT soon enough, then that's what I'll do after that. It's going to be a hodgepodge of a stream because then maybe we'll do Final Fantasy 7 after that. So, <laughs> All right. Beer's almost done. So we'll be getting the next beer and then hopping into PT. I was having dreams about PT before this. I have like stressed myself out so much about this, even though I did it to myself. Oh, bye Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth's like, I don't want to play your games anymore. Might be longer than that. I like a lot of people are like, oh god, it's gonna take another five years. I don't think it's gonna take another five years because they've already been working on it. Like they're they've been working on the whole game this whole time. They just decided to release it this first part first so that they could actually get it out there. So it might only be in two parts, but I don't really. I guess there is one point later on, like later in the game, that I could see them doing like the cutoff for the next part. But nice that's awesome boss I haven't gone back into it and like try to like, get all the achievements or anything yet that's gonna be if I like even try Inferno I'm gonna have to unlock the <laughs> infinite rocket launcher I heard the, the final boss on Inferno is insane Yeah, I bet it is. <clears throat> People hate her? I've heard a lot of praise for the new Jill. I love her. I love how sassy she is and how tough she is. She should be tough. She's a fucking stars officer. Yeah, I did go to the grocery store this... Was it yesterday? It was so weird. Um, I love sassy Jill. Um, because... Like, I wore my mask and my gloves. And then, like, you go in and there's a guy there and he's, like, they're, like, hand sanitizing the carts as you come in. It was weird, like, none of the employees had masks on, I guess, because they're just, like, in it. They're, like, whatever. But. And then they have, like, aisles are one way. Like, you can only go one way down the aisles. There's, like, arrows on the ground telling you which way you can go. And of course, some people weren't paying attention to that, but they just started it. So I think some people didn't know because that's how my mom found out. She went and she like went the wrong way down an aisle and a lady yelled at her and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice. <laughs> and the lady's like, oh, it's okay. Um, so yeah. So then when I was in the store, they like made an announcement over the intercom and they're like thank you for maintaining social distancing while you're in the store Tom thank you for the resub how are you doing welcome to the spooktacular of Sephiroth over this building <laughs> and uh, so they made an announcement over the loudspeaker and they told people like aisles are one way look at the floor the marking blah 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 and then, like, going to leave, there's, like, a shield up between you and the cashier. And I was like, I feel like I could live, like, in a dystopian novel right now. It's so freaking weird. Uh, 
feedback. I just pre-ordered my game, but they didn't give me the pre-order bonus. Oh. For Resident Evil 3? Or Wobble? Well, or for uh, I'm a Lurk Lord? Go at it, Tom. <laughs> Thank you for resubbing and just being here and showing your support. Uh, that's what the arrows are for. I had no idea. Yeah, see, my mom didn't even see the arrow on the ground. Yeah, it's so weird. What store was it? I have literally no idea what's going on in the outside world. It was a grocery store. All right. Finish my beer. Let me get... Oh, no. Let me get my other beer and then... My, or my, my next beers. So then we'll get into PT. All right, get with the times, Moobot. <laughs> yeah, I tried to update Moobot. Oh, we're dropping frames. Okay, hopefully we're out of it now. No, I'm just starting. <laughs> I tried to set up a screen counter, like you said, Player 8, and I, for some reason I couldn't figure it out, so no screen counter tonight. You guys can keep count yourselves, and I'll make it later and just change the amount. <laughs> oh, yep, we're just, just getting started. I, had to actually, I have to actually go into my library to get the PT, because it's... I haven't opened it. I hope it works. Here we go. Maybe. Check back soon. Okay. And the seven eight, the seven seven eighty, uh, something means something. <laughs> Chris, I didn't bark. Did she? She's in her bed. Here we go, guys. <laughs> so, oh, the video capture looks like it's really loud. Is it really loud?
No, I, I, that's what I said. I tried to do the stream counter. I got to take that PT thing off. Seems okay. Okay. Ugh, okay. There you go. It's like so quiet, I don't like it. Earlier, this brutal killing took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. The day of the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10 year old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six year old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom. But reports suggest he lured her out by telling her <laughs> it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Keep drinking, just keep Police drinking. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. Yes, the old fear of fear. The perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides <laughs> appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. Oh, is that over? Yeah. Really dark. things up there later. I don't think we're there yet. Uh oh. <laughs> Tic Tac Bow! Thank you for the host. <laughs> a string of two cases is not a string, yeah. Okay. Oh. This part. Let me leave. No. Do I have to interact with it? No. And maybe I don't know what happens. <laughs> oh, the door opened. Fun. Why is it so stressful? <laughs> this isn't physical therapy. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's, you can't even interact with anything, so it's like you just look at things. Eventually spooky stuff will start happening. I don't, there's a way, I don't know if we'll get it or not, but. <laughs> oh, you mean game. Oh, okay, this part. <laughs> I said I played, or not played it before, but I've seen it before. No? 
What's happening? Why is it not doing anything? TP and then you toilet paper while this game is so contemporary. <laughs> They're begging they need toilet paper, yeah, right? They have to walk away more. Am I supposed to like try this door? I don't know what you want me to do, game. supposed to do <laughs> does anyone know do you remember this imagine this game in VR I think something's supposed to like Hold the door shut. That's why I was kept looking at it. All this stuff on the ground. See if they'll let me leave yet. No. What do you want me to do, game? <laughs> keep looking at the keep looking at the open door. Okay. I'm supposed to like look at a certain part. Maybe my game's broken. Oh. <laughs> You're trapped inside the house. <laughs> Lisa's like, don't go in my bedroom. In my bathroom. I forgot about the zooming in on things. I said I knew something was supposed to grab the door shut, but. There she is. Hi, Lisa. How you doing, girl? Okay, now I know the jump scare is coming soon, but I don't know where it is. Once that's over, I'll be okay. <laughs> They have toilet paper. I don't want that toilet paper though. Oh, there's the baby. 
Hello, Norman Reedus. How are you? Oh, I trapped. Oh, I trapped. Ain't nothing bad or happen in this house, yeah, right? <laughs> Okay, game. <laughs> I never know. What do you want me to do? Look, there's blood on the ground. Look at the blood. Look in the toilet. Alright, come on, game. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Take the toilet. I don't think I want that toilet paper. It looks kind of creepy and dirty. Wow, they have a lot of toilet paper in here, actually. No, you can't. They obscured the face on purpose for the reveal. Oh. Now it opens. Well, it gets darker and darker. Yeah, that was a good fake. That was a good I did that already. I don't know why. That was a good hint. Good job, Lowell. If my next beer, mute the mic so you guys don't get blown. Do you know when the jump scare is? Please just tell me. <laughs> So I'm not terrible. I'm just like so nervous about this jump scare. Yeah, they're stocked up. They do ahead of time. For like 10 seconds. <laughs> you would, girl. They figured out the story. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Shut up. I should have looked it up. <laughs> you did scare me, Frawl. Frawl. Stop. He's gonna force me here. Stop. There it is. Stop. <laughs> 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 That was 
very nice, Lisa. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the only jump scare in the game, so. So now we're we're on the, the easy track. That did scare me. <laughs> I'm already uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's not a fun game. Does anyone know how to get the special ending? That was not enjoyable. See? See? Chat wanted to know too. <laughs> Only drink tap water. <laughs> we will not tell you. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, when is the jump scare? Like, and it was right there. So, <laughs> could someone tell me if that's the only one? I'm pretty sure she only does that the one time. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> nice. I'm having fun. Yeah, you would, girl. You would. Now there's spooky, scary stuff, but it's just like atmospheric. Unless she does it again, but she's in I don't think so. Oh wait, so you're done. Well, if there's another one, it'll genuinely freak me out. Because I'm not really expecting it. Oh, she's behind me. I don't want to look behind me. That's when she gets you. Alright, game, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm so tense now, same. what to do so much of this is like figuring out what to do I don't like it <laughs> you tell me to look behind me yeah, I don't like seeing her shadow Lisa just wanted a hug. Why did you play it five times? What do I do? What do they want me to do? You said look behind you, and I did. I think she gets you either way. 
Oh, the radio. Okay. Thank you. You said look behind you, not look at the radio. Oh, is there another radio over here? Okay, do you mean the answer to this thing? <laughs> what do I do? I don't want to check everything. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> check everything on the table with the radio. Okay. This this one? Because they said look behind you as well, so. No, stare harder. What? what? What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. Candy. It's hard to control with the zoom. You see? Leave in the heart of the cards. There. There. I think the baby's crying again. Okay, just tell me what to do. <laughs> Look at the pick by the right. I did that. Oh, God. I'm like not at the right angle. painting. It has instructions. I can't do... What heart are they talking about? No. Guys, just honestly, just tell me what to do because I am getting annoyed. <laughs> I don't see a heart anywhere. Well, that's one of the things for the ending, but that's not telling me what to do now.
It's like she's gonna grab me again just because she's frustrated. <laughs> the fuel tank, trying to hit the fuel tank, yeah, right? Yeah, the, this writing on the screen is like how you know like you're unlocking the ending, but this is what you do play another game instead. Yeah, I'm about there. <laughs> but I'm past the, the super scary part. How'd you I'm just gonna look it up, guys. Like, is there a heart somewhere? I can't interact with anything, that's the thing. I'm just gonna go try and open this door again and then see. I didn't expect this to be like so puzzly. I thought it was just like walk down the hallway. What? Why? Why all of a sudden can I press X? Forgive me, Lisa. There's a monster inside of me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I hear them calling for me. Oh god, she's up there. Ah! Well, the whole, I couldn't interact with anything else so far, so I just assumed that I couldn't. Out of blood. Am 
I missing something again? <laughs> you can tear me apart, Lisa. The ambiance is on point. Yeah, I've actually even seen this before. I did not hit her. I did not. It's not that much blood. Oh, God, girl. Is there any, am I just supposed to keep walking at this point? I don't know if I'm missing something because it looks like it's looping. Mostly I just want to get this done as quickly as possible so we can go back to Resident Evil 3 and just like beat up Nemesis. <laughs> so let's keep walking. I think the lights change. Who's checking on this baby? Okay, I feel like I'm missing something again. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. I hear them calling. Is there more? Just to look at it longer. <sighs> this game is way more annoying than I expected it to be. I expected it to be spooky scary. I didn't expect it to be like, look at this thing for a certain amount of time to trigger a thing, and then a thing will happen, and. I just look at that for longer or something. Where are they calling from? How am I supposed to know to do this stuff? Oh. Hello. She's back there. I never noticed that one before. Where are you from? Hell. you start the puzzle over. Oh. Well, just... I'm so annoyed. Just tell me what to do. I just don't care, guys. Like, this is... This is uh, I'm gonna get more beer. 
They're calling from L. What is L? They're in El Paso. I don't want to turn around because she's there and she's scary. Okay, did I do it then? <laughs> oh, so much anxiety. Oh, I'm gonna need Final Fantasy Seven after this. <laughs> I don't want to like go through the door and like start the whole thing over again. I had a fe feeling it was looping. It's like this looks exactly the same. Let me go get my beer. No, <laughs> right back. I'm sorry, guys. You did it! Yay! Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This game gives me anxiety. I, I can't. Chris, you're not helping with the anxiety. Okay, let me go grab my beer.
Okay. Okay. Remember, everything was supposed to be abstract. It was not supposed to be easy to solve. That is true. Like, even once we get to the ending, like, that's... I have a risen from the ash. <laughs> Thanks, not the one guy. So I know we found one thing for the ending, so that's cool. I think there's, like, five or something. Okay, taking a mini break. Guys, this game... Yeah, I forgot. Kojima also, since he's the one that's, like, behind the whole thing, he does not... He doesn't like to make things easy. Yeah, it was like some girl. She just like found it and she was like, what? What is this? Baby's gone. <laughs> Spooky, scary hallway. was looking this at one point that's why oh god I don't want to get turned around the wrong way how do you know if you're going the right way <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Those are lips. I, keep, I know something happens with the baby, so that's why I keep looking back for the baby.
Oh, that's an eye too. I thought it was a mouth. <laughs> Night boss, thanks for stopping by. Mm, can I get a better hint? <laughs> mm, I'm just ready to play Resident Evil 3. <laughs> Ball Wolf, I swear, you know like all the tricks to every game. I don't know how you know so much about games. It's like lips, right? Maybe that is an eye. Something is not where it's supposed to be. Baby's not where it's supposed to be. Oh, the picture frame is gone. track obscure puzzles like this. Like, look at this thing. Start having to look at everything, I guess. Yeah, the picture frame's gone. on this puzzle picture in your mind what you need right now. Ugh. Am I supposed to look at one of the other pictures, I guess? Am I on the right track that it's a picture of them together that's missing? But I don't see it anywhere. So your puzzles are too obscure. Was oh, there like an empty frame? Yeah. 
on the floor. Well, that's not where it's supposed to be. is like once you get it you don't know there's like nothing telling you that you got it right until you can move on real light <laughs> You were so close. <laughs> I... I'm so confused. Is it one of the pictures on the wall? Can you just tell me that? Is it, maybe it's the one on the floor if I was so close. Just take a relaxing bubble bath. Yeah, right? definitely use one right now. Okay, so it's one of the pictures on the wall. So just look at them all. That's like two questions at the same time in there. They're not open yet. Oh my god, this is eat up. same to me. That's what I'm so confused about. Like, other than that one that was on the ground. Is it this one? What am I supposed to do with it? Should I press X again? <laughs> every single one. Thank <laughs> you. 
No turning back now. Baby's back. You got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She has to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? Exactly ten months back. Baby done? In the bathroom! <laughs> Shut up, baby! You don't know! <laughs> Am I done with this part now? Can I move on? <laughs> I'm like so scared of you and like having to start the whole loop over again. <laughs> don't judge me! <laughs> I think we're near the end now. Excuse me. Are you done talking, baby? Okay. And now we're walking normal again. Anything up? up? Baby's gone. Okay, so you can go ahead and tell me, is there more to do now? I think it, I think that's it. So do we just do the ending thing now? That's all I remember. And you can tell me, just you can just tell me how to do the ending because I don't want to like have to figure it out because that girl wasn't even supposed to have figured it out. Maybe just need some milk, yeah, right? I can change the subtitles. Hello? <laughs> oh, this has been stressful. I didn't expect the whole thing to be stressful. I was more scared about that one jump scare. Well, let's just walk and see what happens. Oh. Well, that was spooky. Okay, it's not over yet. <laughs> I hate you. To walk around a bit to trigger the next puzzle. Okay. I totally forgot about this part. I just want to be done with you, game. Okay. I don't remember that part at all. Watch the gap in the door. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Is that what that said? Oh my god, game. Is it done yet? Are we done now? <laughs> Search the room. Oh, this room? Too bad, I already left it. Why? What's in the room? Did I miss something? Uh-oh. Did I screw something up? The first line was in English. Oh, I didn't even read what it said. Did I mess it up? A bag talks to you. Oh. Is that important for the ending? <laughs> I'm not going back. It's just a missable thing. Well, we missed it. So am I in like the end game now? Can I do the, the thing for the ending? Or is there still more puzzles? <laughs> Let's walk around and see what happens. I didn't remember that part, so there might be more that I don't remember. Baby's still there. Hello, baby. I like the baby. More puzzles? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm about ready. I'm done with this. Or is in more puzzles do you mean like unlocking the ending? Because nothing happened there. Yeah, that was totally an internal darkness type thing. One's like here or something. Right. Picture by the plant is missing its picture. <sighs> what picture? There's no picture. Oh, this one? This? So you don't even have to do it all again. I'll just stop if that's the case. Did I do it? It seems like we're in the ending loop part because nothing's happening. Does anyone know how to do the ending? Just tell me where to look and stuff. It's the only plant. Oh, this plant maybe?
fun. I didn't realize there was another plant. Check on baby. Hello, baby. I like baby. He's like the calm in the storm. It looks like the hallway's a different color now. He's doing the same thing again. No. Definitely not doing that. Um I don't understand. <laughs> well, there was a teddy bear. We're in the end game now, boys. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, what now, Bobble? So now we're in the obscure thing to unlock the ending, I believe. Because that's what happens when the words pop up on screen. And we already got one because I got the one from looking at the picture frame. Doggo. Where is our doggo? Teddy bear, I knew where it was. Is there a dog in one of the pictures, maybe? Oh, that's Tom. <laughs> For some reason, I thought Tom was Blah Wolf. Oops, I didn't mean all of that. What did that mean? Can I look at this? This one again? Can I make him crawl? Or is it this one? There's a dog in your house, you have to find it and pet it. Yeah, right? Blah, well, if you're too cryptic, just tell me what to do. <laughs> I didn't mean all that. Does anyone else have an idea of what Blah Wolf means? But I didn't mean all that.
There we go. On the base which holds the the right of the clock. There's a clock. Oh, this one. On the vase which holds the planted pot. Oh, so this one? This? Oh, okay. Lodged in the ceiling beam between the foyer and the bathroom. Oh, God! Why are you there? Are you gonna kill me again? Okay. <laughs> On the stairway leading down to the roof? Lisa? You need to stop. You scared her in the options menu. What? Oh, that's the one I got an accident earlier. I got that one already. Okay. Because I accidentally zoomed in on the options menu and I thought that I found one uh, on the table by the radio. So I already got the options menu. Isn't there a fifth one? Like the phone rings or something when you get them all, I think. <laughs> so much for only one jump scare. Yeah, I was I didn't know about that one. Is that it? On the floor beneath the clock. Okay, yeah, I thought that one was, I thought there was a one there. I thought there was one there. There's one more under your desk, IRL. Thanks, Tom. That helps so much. Why are there so many of these things? I keep pausing because I'm afraid that she's going to be like, nope, fuck you. <laughs> like, jump scare me. Thank you for your help, Law Wolf, because there is no way that this I would have found this out because this is the thing that like people searched for a while to find. So But I wanna get this ending. I gotta get this ending. For those who haven't seen it, it's pretty epic. I, I like it anyway. The calm of the pause screen, yeah, right? <laughs> I've just I've seen a lot of the pod screen tonight. <laughs> I feel like Blau was like slowly typing these things out. Is that it? Is that the last one? Because I thought when it happens, like when you get them all, something. Like the phone rings or something. Or am I still, I don't think I'm still like going through puzzles and stuff, but then Lisa did show up, so I don't know. <sighs> Just wait. 
Did you check if the picture is done? Which picture? This one? Oh. Is okay. I forgot all about that picture. Maybe that's why Lisa showed up. She's like, Don't forget about my picture. Back to the pause screen. Am I missing something? I thought I got them all and I got the pause screen one because it's not letting me do it now. I guess I'll loop again, see if anything changes. to the pause screen. <laughs> Did I mess something up? Maybe because I didn't look at the bag? Does anyone know? <laughs> Not just Blah Wolf. <laughs> so I finished the picture. At least it looks like it's done. So I should be in the end game now, right? Or is there more? I really want to I really want to see the Silent Hills ending. Nobody knows. <laughs> Yeah, Chrissy left me. She was like, your game's too scary. And she left, so. And when I went out to get my beer, my dad's like, how can a video game be scary? And I was like, you don't understand. <laughs> Paul Wolf, help. Please. I'll give you Chrissy pets. What am I missing? I did when I went to get beer. I looked up jump scares and PT. Everything must be attempted after this clock strikes midnight. So I just, oh. We got another one for some reason. I guess we loop until it's midnight. I've seen it be midnight before. What? Wait, what? Are you kidding? 
I have the volume down turned. I have the volume turned so low. I haven't heard any laugh. I don't hear a laugh. Walking exactly 10 paces in any direction will trigger a laugh. Do a second laugh. Freeze. Don't move. Is anyone hearing a laugh? Because it wasn't midnight yet. Okay, how do I get it to be midnight? Do I just keep looping until it's midnight? There's this up. Oh. We got a red hue again. like this red hue. I don't remember this at all. So we'll look at the clock. I did hear it chime once. After midnight, say walk exactly 10 paces in any direction to trigger a laugh. After the second laugh, freeze, don't move, don't adjust the camera. Okay, okay. I must have messed it up. I didn't hear a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Zadana. I guess I'm going to plug in my headphones real quick. Hopefully that doesn't mess with the audio. 
that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I banged the desk. Um. Oh God, now I can hear it way too loud. <laughs> Turn down those. Can you guys hear it? Probably not now. I couldn't hear the laugh, so I want to make sure I hear the laugh. Okay. Let's say after the second laugh, freeze, don't move, don't adjust the camera. Okay, once this is done, I'll unplug my headphones, but I couldn't hear the laugh over my TV, so. <sighs> We're in the end game, guys. It's just got to trigger this thing. And I definitely, after doing all this, I definitely want to get it. Putting your left hand in, take your left, oh. Okay. How did someone find this? Okay, so there is a laugh in that sound. Good lord. This is way harder than I thought it would be. I know we got a green hue. I don't think the hues really do anything, hopefully. I think that was like a rumor? I don't know. Blow Wolf disappeared. You know what, I'm gonna unplug it until it actually goes midnight. Lisa cut blah wolf, yeah. This is longer than I thought it would be. I didn't think it would be this long. Oh, that's midnight, okay. hear any laughing this time. This is annoying. Uh, Blah Wolf, if you are here. Blah Wolf is driving. Oh, sorry. Uh, does anyone know? Do I, can I wait for all that? Because there's like a bunch of noises that happen like right at midnight. Can I wait for those to finish? before I start the walk so that I can hear the laugh better. Sorry, Blah Wolf. I don't mean, I don't want you to crash. Yeah, 
I think that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna wait for all those sounds to stop at midnight and then see if I can hear the laugh. I didn't hear the laugh at all that time, so I think it might have been the hue. Okay. Now there's a bunch of scary sounds. Yeah, it's like as you come up on midnight, like all these scary sounds start playing. Apparently don't move into, okay, that's what I was thinking. I said there's all these weird sounds, so like even when the laughing was going, I couldn't hear it. It's still going. <laughs> stopped. So on the second laugh, stop. I don't hear any laughing. I heard laughing that one time. I know, right? Like, this is crazy. Like, I really want to get the ending, but I might just play it for you guys because I don't, I don't understand. Spooky sounds are playing again. Oh. Oh, there's laughing. Okay. Guess that was a one laugh. Maybe we got something. Why are you still here? Okay, well, we saw Lisa. My controller has not vibrated at all. I'm hearing random sounds, not the laughing. So I guess I'll just walk around until the laughing happens again. 
It's hard to tell, like, when the laughing stops, because it, like, keeps going. It does seem like it's repeating. So we saw Lisa, so that's a good sign. Uh, I'm about done with this, guys. Like, now there's nothing. I don't want to keep doing this and have it not work. Uh, oh. Do I have to loop again to activate it, maybe? Now I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. It's a lot of striving. Is anyone else? Anyone else? I didn't, I thought you just had to find the things. I didn't know about the laughing part. All right, I'm just gonna try and loop and see what happens. Try it one more time. <sighs> One more time and then I'll just look it up on YouTube for you guys because I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> At least I saw Lisa in the doorway so I was like, I think she's there. <laughs> so when she rushed towards me, it wasn't quite as scary that time, but still a little scary. Look at the front door when waiting for midnight as well. Okay, there's laughter again. Okay. Yeah, my controller is not vibrating or anything, so I don't know, guys. It's making all these sounds now. Now you guys can hear it, too. I don't know. Phone facing front door. That's fine. I mean, we saw Lisa, so that was a good sign. And we had, the, we had words pop up on screen, so I don't know. Stare at the phone. Usually, the, I think the phone just starts ringing. Alright, I'm just gonna. Okay, so. I can't get it. I'm giving up. Unless Blah Wolf comes back in the next little bit, I'm gonna go grab a beer, and then if. No one can tell me what I'm doing wrong at that point, which totally understandable. Not putting it on you guys. This is a it was, was a tough thing to find, so I'm not surprised that I'm not activating it. It's just I thought it was easier than this. Seems like it's pure luck. Yeah, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab a beer and uh, use the facilities, and when I come back, um. I'm probably, I'll show the uh, Silent Hills ending in, um, um, my computer instead, but I finished it for the most part. <laughs> I'll say that PD is done. We just didn't get the little secret ending. It's fine. You have to say Lisa, Lisa into the controller. I don't know. I thought that was debunked. Like, I don't know. I'll try that when I get back.
Uh, look, wasn't I her at the moment? Okay, cool. It's talking to me. Why are you talking to me right now? Oh. More words popped up on screen. Maybe Zadana was right. Let's wait for midnight and see what happens. The phone will ring when it is activated. did something after I said that, so. That's when it talked to me. I don't know what it said. Did you guys hear what it said? It heard you say it? I think it did. I think you're right. Holy shit. I thought that part was debunked. I guess not. Can't hear it. Plug in the headphones one last time and see if I can do... I don't think this is English. See if I can hear the laughter after all the spooky sounds end. I think it was in English. My controller still didn't vibrate, so. I don't know. Phone's still not ringing. Alright, well, like I said, I'm gonna get a beer and help your name back. Oh, guys, this is crazy. I'm so ready for something more chill.
All right, fuck this game. So uh, I guess we're done with PT for now. <laughs> Thank you, Blow Wolf, for helping me in like his roundabout ways. That's probably for the best. So <laughs> not just telling me what to do. Oh goodness. Oh, I thought I muted it. You guys don't need to hear my. So we did it. I'm not going to like break my back over getting this because it's literally just the ending. And again, like I said, it was really obscure to find. So goodbye, PT. We're done with you. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII's really loud music. <laughs> Mute the capture device for now. I love it. It's really good so far. Um, like I was saying, like earlier tonight, I was saying that people were complaining about changes that they made to Final Fantasy VII, and I'm like, so far, it's been like beat for beat the original game. Like, of course, like things have been changed around and whatnot, but it's so pretty. <laughs> and like I said, um, you meet Aerith. I don't know if you know that in Final Fantasy VII. And when I first met her, I got, I got, I got teary eyed. I'm like, I'm not even like a big Final Fantasy VII fan. It was just the music and she's so cute. And I was like, oh, okay. Let's look up the PT secret. PT ending. We don't want a walkthrough. Okay. This is the ending where it actually, it shows you what to do, I guess, but I've already closed out of it. So I guess I could have left that open <laughs> to like try it again but it's done what's done is done <laughs> night wolf thank you for stopping by let me find oh i don't want to hear myself i just want to chat Chat only. Okay. All right. I'm going to have chat open while I'm doing this. So, uh, cause I can't see it in this. No, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, well, here's the phone ringing. So this is not, but it doesn't show how to get the phone to ring. Okay. That's fine. Here we go. This person doesn't know where to go. You just go out the door. You just need to loop. Okay, here we go. You just go out the door like you're looping and then something different happens.
Guillermo del Toro. Norman Reedus. That music. Pills. Playable teaser, that's what it stands for. I don't know how someone like stumbled upon that ending. That's crazy. It really makes me wonder like how far they actually got into production for Silent Hills. But this game is a teaser. There's no direct relation to the main title. Thank God. Could you imagine a whole game of that? What we just experienced for like a like 20 hour game or whatever? No, thank you. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they did release a second trailer. Let me see if I can find the... Like... Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, this is... Wow, PT's that old? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a trailer that came out after PT, I think. Yeah, I think so. And and it was like a... I don't know, let's watch it real quick. Oh, maybe this is not what I thought it was. Why, why are there people talking? Make sure I'm not dropping frames. <laughs> oh, look at Lisa's face. Oh. Okay, we'll just we'll just watch this thing because this is different. So even though someone's talking over it, it's fine. Concept of movie. I don't think my heart could handle a whole game like PT. Yeah, no thank you. Dragon! <laughs> Spooky scary time! See, after this, I thought the Death Stranding was going to be terrifying. <laughs> I was like, oh god. Ugh. Look at all these toys. Oh. <laughs> You're right. I did. I am so sorry. Thank you for telling me we'll start this over again. <laughs> are we seeing it now? Now we are. Okay. Sorry about that. Can you hear it? Did I unmute? The desktop audio. I did. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> She's horny PT nurse. I don't want PT to myself. No, thank you. Okay. Do we see it now? The ball bouncing into the door. Yes, okay. We see everything. <laughs> so there are the toys I was talking about.
You never saw this? Yeah. Just your average Tuesday. Yeah, right? stop all right well I didn't drop any frames for that so that's good oh, okay back to the game all right so that's it for PT I know I agree Robble Although, like, I barely got through PT. I was like, there's no way I could play a whole game like that. None. Like, after I saw PT, I was like, <laughs> I'm not playing Silent Hills. There's no way. Oh, I do have a question about Lisa. Like, there were the times she randomly showed up. But, and, like, I did look it up when I went to get beer. Uh, if there were more jump scares. And they said that there was, like, random times she can kill you. Which I did, I've never seen. So, um, no, no, I would have, I would have given up like way earlier. I think after she killed me, I probably would have given, like if I had played it the first time by myself and been like, nope, I'm done. Not doing this. <laughs> um, but I do have a question. Can she randomly kill you? Because that was a thread, but it was like from 2015. So I don't know if that was still true or not. Cause she totally had op like opportunities to randomly kill me. I will probably play the end of Resident Evil 3, warning you, Canadian Pride, after this, since I, uh, didn't finish that on stream last time. I believe she can. Really? That's so interesting. Um, I finished it, but I didn't finish it on stream because you started streaming last time, so I stopped. Um, so if you don't want to see the end fight, you should probably not watch. Are you going to stream tonight? Um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you to everyone for contributing to um, the PT fundraiser. Even though I hated, I literally hated that. <laughs> like, the whole time I was like, why am I doing this? I hate it. I was like, oh, once I get past that first jump scare, I'll be fine. And then I was like, oh, it's not, I thought it was just like walking and then things happen. I didn't realize I had to look at certain things for a certain time. She can possess you? <gasps> How? Oh my god. Is player 8 still here, CP? We need to talk about this. She knows how I feel about this. I cannot take possession. Oh my god. If she possessed me, I would have like dropped the controller. So true story. As a child, I... I grew up Catholic and I, my mom and I went to church, um, almost every Sunday when I was younger and 
at one point I watched this show on TV. Oh, okay. So she doesn't like control you. I did see her shadow behind me at one point. When you saw her that last time, she had potentially possessed you. Ugh! Oh, okay. I saw her shadow behind me. But anyway, as a child, grew up Catholic, went to church almost every Sunday, went to CCD, which is, uh, I don't even remember what it stands for. It's like Catholic school, basically. Uh, last time. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank God I shouldn't attack me again. Ugh! 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 I feel like Lisa's like a real ghost to me. She's not like an AI. She's a real ghost. So, okay, let me finish my story. So I went to CCD as a kid and my grandma, I think, was watching, there was like all these weird shows in the 90s about like the end of the world and global warming and all that. And then my grandma was watching one one time about like evil angels, which as a child, I had never even heard about. I had only heard about, like, good angels. And, yeah, there was a devil and stuff, but I just felt like he worked on his own. So I found out about evil angels, or, like, fallen angels, and I was terrified that they were going to, like, come and get me in the middle of the night and, like, take my soul or whatever. So that was a big fear of mine. It's still, like kind of ingrained in me that it's like possession that's why possession freaks me out because it's like what do you do that causes that you know like you know a lot of people don't believe in it but it's like there's also a lot of cases of it happening and like I remember when I was in college I think the exorcism of Emily Rose came out and I was like fuck no I am not seeing that uh <laughs> um Thank you for not telling me if she had possessed me. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Uh, being possessed by demons uh, is something that, like, I've always, like, subconsciously been afraid of because of that. So, my mom went to the church and <laughs> told them that I was afraid of this. Thinking, because we go to church, that they'll, like, sit me down and just say, like, you know, like dark angels aren't real. You just pray to God and you'll be safe. Like, that's all my mom wanted them to do. Instead, the lady that ran our CCD program acted like I was nuts. She was like, she was completely thrown off by this and told my mom to literally take out a Bible and go in the house and call out the evil spirits. And then when none show up, say, oh, look, see, nothing came. Do you know how you invite spirits into your house? That's the exact way you do it. And I was like, my mom was like, there's no way. My mom was like, no, I'm not doing that. Thank God she didn't because that's, again, like if, like Ouija boards and all that, like, the, see, like I'm good with zombies and monsters and things like that. But when it comes to ghosts, I cannot. And that's why I didn't play this for forever because it's a fucking ghost. And if player eight were here, she would understand me because we talked about this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, oh my God. Thank God my mom was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, why would you invite evil into your house? Thank you. Thank you, Blair. You know. Like, we told this story to uh, my parents' friends, and she's very spiritual. Like, She's actually, like, done, like, real exorcisms before, which is crazy. And we told her that story, and she's like, oh, my God. She's like, you didn't do that, did you? We're like, no. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the thing is it's, like, I feel like zombies, other than, you know, evil have <laughs> candy. I feel like zombies and monsters and, uh, like, vampires and werewolves and all that, like, they're fiction. Like, they're something that we, at least for the most part, like, we know zombies aren't real. We know that vampires aren't real. I mean, they could be, but <laughs> for the most part, they aren't. But when it comes to death and ghosts, like, we don't know what happens after we die. And the fact of 
inviting evil into your house. There's no way. Like, ugh. No, player, don't do it. <laughs> or are they? I mean, you don't know. That's what I'm saying. You don't know. But the idea that it's like there's a zombie apocalypse coming will probably never happen. But there has been like documentation of ghosts and possessions and evil spirits. And like, no, thank you. No, I don't want any part of me. No. So PT is done. Our house.